Hello friends, this video on excretory products and their elimination part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the human excretory system. Now the human excretory system as expected is going to be much more complex when compared to the excretory system in the uh, previously mentioned animals and that is why I started with the lower phyla. So that because as you go higher in the hierarchy of so we will now discuss about the human excretory system in detail now this is how the human excretory system look like so it is not just one specialized organ which is present a set of organs together form the human excretory system so the excretory system consists of the following organs that is a pair of kidneys as you can see here one and two these are the two pairs of kidneys I mean one pair of kidney, a pair of ureters. So these tube-like structures which you see, one and two, this forms a pair of ureters. Urinary bladder, so here you see a sac-like structure or a bag kind of a structure that is a urinary bladder. And the last one is urethra, that is a, a small structure which has a hole through which the urine is excreted out. So these four things together form the human excretory system. Now before we try to understand how excretion takes place. Now as I said, excretion takes place through urine. So all of us excrete out urine and urine contains all the waste materials of our body. But the most important question here is, here is how is the urine formed? Now in order to understand the formation of urine, we should be aware of the structure of the different parts which help in the formation of urine. So that is what we are going to do now. First let us try to understand the excretory system, the different parts of it and their structure and then we will talk about the process of urine formation. So let us know each part of the excretory system. So as I said, the first is a pair of kidneys. So where are they located? They are located in the back of the abdomen. So kidneys are something which you cannot feel from the front side it is because it is more closer to the back side. So it is located in the back of the ad, uh, abdomen and it is almost located between the uh, thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity. That is, this is the thoracic cavity, right? The diaphragm denotes the end of the thoracic cavity. So this portion is thoracic cavity and this portion is the abdominal cavity. So you can say that kidneys are located at the borderline of the thoracic and the abdominal cavity. That is, it is located towards the beginning of the abdominal cavity and towards the last levels of the thoracic cavity. Two kidneys are present, one on either side of the backbone. So the backbone is somewhere here as you can see in the picture. So one on each side of the backbone. They are being shaped. So if you look at the shape of the kidney, it is in the shape of a bean. So this is a brief introduction of the kidneys. Notch on the inner concave side is called the hilum. So here if you see, there is a notch. That is, there is a place where the ureters connect to the kidney. So that area is known as the hilum. So this portion is called hilum. And this is present in both the kidneys towards the inner concave side. This is the inner concave side. Next is the pair of ureters. These are slender tubes arising from hilum of kidney. So if you see from hilum, you have thin tubes and they are called ureters. They open into urinary bladder. So basically you can understand it very clearly that urine will be formed somewhere in the kidney and then the urine will come into the ureters and then the ureters will carry the urine and take it to the urinary bladder. So this is where the urine will come. So these ureters connect to the urinary bladder. What happens in the urinary bladder? The, this is a pear shaped structure. It is just one single structure in the shape of a pear. And it is a muscular reservoir of urine. So this is the place where urine is stored. So ureters just act as a, a tube which connects the kidney where the urine is formed 
to the urinary bladder where the urine is stored. Now, another important part here is that the urinary bladder is muscular in nature. Now, this is the walls of the urinary bladder is made up of muscles and the contraction and expansion of the muscles can actually contract and expand the urinary bladder as a whole. Now, what is the significance of this contraction and expansion that we will get to know when we talk about the process of urination. That is how uh, urine is thrown out of the urinary bladder to the exterior. So this is urinary bladder and it opens into urethra. So urinary bladder in turn opens into this pointed structure with a minute pore called this is urethra. So it is an opening that opens to the outside through the urethral aperture. So here you have a small hole which is called the urethral aperture. Through this the urine goes out and that is how the wastes are excreted or we get rid of the wastes from our body. So these, this is a brief introduction of the different parts of the excretory system. Now as I said Kidneys are the places where urine is formed. Urators carry the urine, urinary bladder stores the urine and urethra throws the urine out of the body. So in simple words that, that is the function of each of these parts of the excretory system. Now formation of urine is going to be the most interesting topic and also most complex. So that is why we should know the structure of the kidneys in more detail so that we can it, it becomes easier for us to understand the process of urine formation. So now the question is how does excretion happen in human beings? The wastes are excreted in the form of urine as I mentioned before and this urine is produced in the kidneys, they move through the ureters, stored in urinary bladder and then released through urethra. So these are the four simple steps by which excretion takes place in human beings. Now the question is how does urine formation take place? Now we've got to know that okay urine formation take place in the kidneys but how does it take place? Okay, now before you understand how urine formation takes place, it is very important that you are aware of the detailed structure of the kidneys. So that is why we will spend some time now to understand the complete structure of kidneys. So once we are aware of the structure of kidney, then we will talk about the process of urine forming. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.